17 tips and tricks for your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Timestamps are down in the description. Let's jump right into it. Tip number one is a series of tips to help you get the most out of the Wi-Fi performance on your S24 Ultra. Swipe down, let's go into settings, tap on connections, go ahead and tap on Wi-Fi. Up here on the top right corner, you wanna tap on these three dots and you're gonna select intelligent Wi-Fi. All right, now we're gonna scroll all the way down here and on your S24 Ultra, it's gonna end at intelligent Wi-Fi. Go ahead and tap on this several times and then it's gonna give you a toast notification letting you know that connectivity labs have been enabled and in my device, it just let me know that it's already enabled. Then you'll have this new option here, connectivity labs. Once you're inside the connectivity lab section, you're gonna see a lot of statistics about your Wi-Fi usage, the time, the usage, the band utilization, all kinds of great information. Now, while you're here, our first tip is to go ahead and do a home Wi-Fi inspection. So all you're gonna do is follow along with these prompts First, it's gonna have you pick your home Wi-Fi network. You're gonna go ahead and hit next. And then it's gonna give you an initial analysis. Your home Wi-Fi network is well configured, but if you don't get this message, you can go ahead and tap next. And then it's gonna have you start this walkthrough of your entire area of your home, and it's gonna give you the optimum position to place your wireless router. Back on the previous screen, we also have the ability to disable or enable Wi-Fi 7. If you don't have Wi-Fi 7 gear in your home yet, go ahead and disable this to help conserve energy and it'll also help make your device more secure because Wi-Fi 7 is no longer enabled. The next tip while we're here, let's go into customize Wi-Fi list settings, and then we're gonna tap on show band information. Now this is really cool. Let's dip back into our settings real quick. We're gonna go back to our Wi-Fi network. All right, I'm gonna tap on this. Now it shows our connected band information. This is really helpful for deciding on where you wanna put your wireless router as well, in addition to that home network analyzer. It shows that I'm currently on five gigahertz. If I get too much further away from my router, that's gonna switch down to 2.4 gigahertz. Now back at the connectivity lab screen, let's go into Wi-Fi developer options, and then we wanna tap on nearby Wi-Fi information. And now up here on the top, you wanna to go ahead and tap on channel utilization. And right here at the bottom, it's going to suggest the best 2.4 gigahertz channels to assign and the best five gigahertz band channels to assign. And what you wanna do is hop into your wireless router most wireless router addresses are something similar to 192.168.0.1. It's going to be something similar to that. And once you're logged into your router, you wanna change your preferred channels to this channel list for 2.4 gigahertz and this channel list for five gigahertz. Usually you'll be able to pick your one preferred channel. So in my case, it's channel one for 2.4 and channel 36 for five gigahertz. Here's the beautiful thing about this tip. Not only does it improve the wireless performance of your S24 Ultra, it also improves the wireless performance of all your devices in your home because basically you're using your S24 Ultra as a network probing tool and it's telling you, here's the best channels to use, you're gonna get the most thorough but Don't sleep on this tip. For this next tip, we have a lot of AI features built into our S24 Ultra. Let's go ahead and make sure they're all enabled. Go back into your settings, scroll all the way down until you get to advanced features. Up at the top, we're gonna to have advanced intelligence. This is gonna give you a nice walkthrough and breakdown of all of the AI features that are built into your device. Go ahead and tap on phone and let's turn on live translation. Back on the advanced intelligence screen, let's go ahead and tap on the Samsung keyboard. Tap on chat translation, let's go ahead and turn that on. Go back, style and grammar, let's go ahead and turn that on. There are no options to set for interpreter. Next to Samsung Notes, go ahead and tap on that and turn Note Assist on. Now it's time for voice recorder. We're gonna go down here, tap on summaries, make sure this is turned on. Samsung internet, same thing again. Summarize, let's turn it on. Photo editor, let's turn generative edits on. And if you wish to omit online cloud processing for AI, you could do it on device only by turning this toggle on. For this next tip, I highly recommend that everyone install Samsung Goodlock. It's available for free in the Samsung Galaxy Store. There are no ads and this is made by Samsung and it's designed to help enhance your Samsung Galaxy device. Here's what Goodlock looks like when you have it all fired up. Now, if you have any problems at all finding Samsung Goodlock, it may not be available by default in your region. I'll go ahead and drop a video down in the description to let you know how you can get Goodlock installed if you're having a hard time finding it. Once you have it installed and have it up and running, it's gonna look like this. We have two tabs at the bottom, Makeup and Life Up. 
These each contain a bunch of utility suites that you can download that are gonna help you customize your Galaxy S24 Ultra in their respective areas. Pintastic gives you more functionality for your S Pen. Wonderland allows you to create custom wallpapers and the list goes on and on. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example of what you can do with GoodLock. Let's go ahead and open up Navstar. We're gonna turn Navstar on and then we're gonna enable extra gesture settings. Go ahead and turn that on. Now we're gonna go into our main settings, down to display, scroll all the way down until you get to navigation bar. Tap on more options and you'll see now we have an added option to swipe up from the bottom like in legacy One UI 6 or retain the new One UI 6.1 gestures. So now we can switch back to One UI 6 gestures. Let me show you what that's like. Here's our recent apps, like what we're used to seeing on the Galaxy S23. Here's our home, and this one takes us back. There's a lot of functionality built into the Samsung GoodLock modules. You definitely want to get that downloaded and installed. With this next tip, don't sleep on Samsung modes and routines. Hop back into settings, modes and routines, Let's go ahead and set up a new useful routine so you get an idea of what this is all about. So you're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign real quick. And what this presents to us is an if condition followed by then. So what this is all about is basically simple programming. What it's saying is if this event happens, so it could be if a time of day happens, if your battery percentage gets to a certain level, if you leave your home Wi-Fi network, you need one of those type of situations, then you're going to have your phone do something. That's what routines is all about. Let's go ahead and set up a sample routine right now. We're gonna go ahead and tap on if, and what we're gonna say is we're gonna go all the way down here and we're gonna pick app opened. So we're gonna go ahead and pick from a list of apps and I'm gonna go ahead and pick maps. And what I'm looking to do is preserve our location. So what I'm doing is selecting maps, I'm hitting done, and then we're presented with the then condition. And what I'm gonna say here is then, I want to go down here a little bit and what I'm looking for is location and I want to tap on this, and we're going to go ahead and leave this on setting. We're going to click done, or tap done, I should say. And then when the routine ends, set action, we can take a look at it, and it's going to return the status of location to what it was prior to the event. So if I have my location turned off, and I open up maps, it's going to turn the location on, and then when I'm done with maps, it's going to turn location back off. And what's cool is once you're done with setting up this routine, is we can go here and we can add additional conditions like another app open. Like let's say you want location to be on when you have your bank app open and maps open. You can go ahead and add another application. So this allows you to fine tune what's gonna be on and off on your device for a particular situation. For this next tip, let's go ahead and improve our display settings. Back into settings, go down to display, scroll down a little bit, and the default resolution when you get your S24 Ultra is going to be Full HD+. Go ahead and up that to Quad HD+, to get that 1440p resolution. While we're in the display settings, let's go ahead and take a look at another tip real quick, camera cutout. So what this allows us to do is hide the camera cutout for select applications. Let's go ahead and test this out with YouTube real quick. So we'll tap on YouTube, and we're going to hit Hide Camera Cutout. All right, we've got YouTube open. And as you can see here, the camera cutout is now hidden but of course we end up with a little bit of a black bar in exchange for it. For this next tip, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple tips to help you get the most out of your S Pen on the S24 Ultra. Back into settings, advanced features, then you want to tap on S Pen. Scroll down just a little bit, tap on more S Pen settings. This first option here, keep S Pen connected. So there's a lot of people that have complained in the past, especially with the S23 Ultra, about the S Pen Air actions not working, and that's because the S Pen keeps getting disconnected. We can go ahead and turn this toggle on, and that's gonna force that connection to stay alive between your S Pen and your S24 Ultra. While you're here, go ahead and turn this toggle on as well. Warn if S Pen is left behind. This has happened to me before in a grocery store. A lady actually pointed down to me and said, sir, you dropped something out of your phone, and lo and behold, it was my S Pen. So if you turn this option on, you're gonna get an alert when you get out of range. Head back and find your S Pen. Turn both those options on. This next tip solves a problem that really drives me nuts as a content creator. Let's open up our camera application. Let's go into settings. Scroll down until you see camera assistant. Scroll down towards the bottom. Camera timeout. The default is two minutes. I personally like to up this to 10 minutes. And what this is all about 
is when you have your camera open and it's sitting here ready to take a picture, by default, if you don't do anything, if you don't interact with your camera, meaning let's say you're setting up your S24 Ultra on a tripod, you're trying to get some product photography and getting things in focus, well, if you don't touch your camera within a two minute period, it turns off. You lose all your settings that you've been working on, you're right back to square one. But by upping that time out, you can now have up to 10 minutes before your camera will turn off. For this next tip, let's take a look at one of the new AI features on the S24 Ultra. Let's go ahead and grab an image out of our gallery. I'm gonna grab this one right here. Let's go ahead and tap on the pin icon on the bottom. This is our edit icon. Once you've done that, you're gonna be presented with a screen that looks like this. Anytime on your S24 Ultra you see an icon like this, this is your AI icon. Let's go ahead and tap on that. All right, and this has given us the option to go ahead and grab an object or circle an object to go ahead and remove it. So I'm really not liking that shed that's sitting there in the background. Let's tap and hold that. All right, now you have a couple options here. Here's the revert back, and this one's going to remove the object. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and hit generate. This does take a little bit to process. Let's just give it a little bit to wrap up. And there we go, it did a nice job of removing that shed. Look at that, did a fantastic job. We'll go ahead and hit done. And we can go ahead and save as a copy. And it's gonna let you know that a watermark is gonna be visible on it, and it's gonna give us an option to save it. And here's our finished photo with our added watermark. For this next tip, let's go ahead and learn how to remove watermarks added by AI, hilarious. All right, let's go back into our picture here. Let's go ahead and hit the edit icon. You see here we have the little watermark icon. Let's go ahead and hit the AI button again. All right, same thing again. Go ahead and tap on that. Boom, we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Go ahead and hit generate. Give it just a moment and boom, there you go. And as you saw when I did that selection, you don't even have to be perfect about it. So a quick way to remove those AI watermarks. For this next tip, let's boost the brightness when we're playing videos. Back into settings, let's go into advanced features again. Scroll down a little bit and then we have video brightness. Now what this lets us do is pick between normal and bright for these selected applications. So if you go ahead and enable bright like I have right now, you can toggle it on for these applications. So when I watch YouTube and HBO Max, my S24 Ultra is a little bit brighter than the default brightness for the rest of the phone. For this next tip, the S24 Ultra has amazing battery life, but we can make it even a little bit better. Back into settings, let's scroll down until we get to device care. Scroll down just a little bit, you're gonna see performance profile. You have two options, standard and light. Light mode favors preserving battery life and keeping your S24 Ultra cool, while the standard profile gives you maximum performance. Do keep in mind that these performance profiles do not matter when you're gaming. When you're gaming via the game launcher, you are always in the maximum performance profile. This stuff doesn't matter at all. For this next tip, let's get the most out of the audio on your S24 Ultra. Back into settings, scroll down just a little bit till you get to sounds and vibration. Scroll down just a little bit until you get to sound quality and effects. Once you're here, you wanna make sure Dolby Atmos is turned on as well as Dolby Atmos for gaming. You can also pick between a few different Dolby Atmos profiles to get the most out of your audio. And this is also where you're gonna find your equalizer settings. This next tip is an old one, but a good one, pretty much in every tips and tricks video. Back into your settings, scroll all the way down until you get to about phone. And then you wanna scroll down a little bit until you get to software information. Then you're gonna to wanna to tap on build number eight times. All right, what it's gonna do is prompt you for your pin. And then once you enter that, it's gonna enable developer options. Back to our settings. And now underneath about phone, we have developer options. Go ahead and tap on that. Now you wanna scroll all the way down until you see these three animation settings. Go ahead and tap on each one of these and drop your animation scale from 1X to 0.5X. What that's gonna do when you update all three of these to 0.5X is it's going to speed up the perceived animations on your Galaxy S24 Ultra, making all of these a lot faster. So here's a regular 1X. Let me go ahead and speed them all up to 0.5X. Now here they are at 0.5X. Little bit faster, you know, this is just an old Android tip. This isn't just for Samsung Galaxy devices. This is for all Android phones. A quick way to speed up the animations on your device. For this next tip, if you ever need to send in your S24 Ultra for repair, let's put it in maintenance mode. Back into settings, let's scroll all the way down until we get to, uh, where is it, device care. Scroll down a little bit, and then we have maintenance mode. So what this is gonna do is allow technicians access to pre-installed apps only, and it's gonna hide all of your personal data. 
And when they ship the phone back to you, all you have to do is unlock it and go back here and turn off maintenance mode, then you're all set. For this next tip, let's enable flash notifications. Back into your settings, let's scroll all the way down until we get to accessibility. And then you wanna go into advanced settings. And once here, it's gonna give you the option to turn on camera flash notifications as well as screen flash notifications. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go ahead and see a preview of what it looks like. It's a little intense, but it may be helpful for you in certain situations. For this next tip, did you know you can adjust the brightness of your flashlight level? Swipe down twice to get to your quick toggles. Here's flashlight, go ahead and press and hold on the word flashlight. This is gonna pop up and allow us to adjust our flashlight brightness. And the last tip and trick for today's video, but a lot more coming up for the S24 Ultra, is let's configure our side button. Back into settings, let's scroll down until we get to advanced features. Go into that, tap on side button, and then what we have is the option to quick launch the camera, or we can open up an app. I have the flashlight real quick, so if I double tap this real quick, let me show you. Flashlight on, flashlight off. You can default it to the camera if you like. And we can also pick between the power off menu and wake Bixby. Naturally, I go with the power off menu. All right, if you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them in the comments section below. I really do appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.